But for you not to have surgery done is stupid. It's stupid. Because you're going to wind up having it done later on because you're not going to be happy with the results. And then when we go and do it later on, you're going to have scar tissue set up. You're going to have all sorts of problems. It's going to be a pay total pain in the ass. And the Just make sure when you want to have this done later on, you go somewhere else and ruin that other like surgeon's day. Because he's going to work his ass off to try and get this thing back done where he could have fixed it easily when you first heard. What's up, guys? I'm Will with TheWillGrant.com. If uh, you don't know already, about a month ago I crashed super hard on my BMX bike training for the national championships. Literally like two days before we left for the event, I just made some stupid little mistake. I wrecked so hard and uh, uh, tearing apart my shoulder pretty good. Um, I completely tore my infraspinatus. It's completely detached. My supraspinatus is just hanging on by a thread. And then uh, my other two are pretty beat up as well so um, I I've been doing everything I possibly can to see if I can avoid surgery um, I contacted the guys from move you got their opinion I went and found the best physical therapist in my um, area I got his opinion and I went and seen the surgeon um, like the best surgeon in our area I got his opinion and it's all pretty much telling me that um, if I want to feel at my best I have to get um, at least my infraspinatus attached because if it's just gonna stay detached it's just gonna bring a lot more issues down the road as far as like uh, not only stability but uh, how it's gonna feel and then just when it's not 100% connected um, it's not like suctioned in there so it's gonna be moving around a lot causing a lot of scar tissue and a lot more other issues kinda like if your car if you have one loose tire it's gonna cause issues all over your whole drivetrain and around your whole system so I have to get that fixed which I'm kind of super bummed about but I'm in the process now of trying to find the best surgeon I can afford because the surgeon that I went and asked um, his name's Coco Eaton my insurance doesn't cover and it's just so expensive and I mean I wish I can afford it but um, I just don't really have the money so I've been, me and my manager Gary have been like searching so much around like with the insurance, the hospitals to try to find like the best surgeon that um, I can trust. It's like a pretty big tear of your spinatus and it's retracted back. I mean, you don't really have a choice other than fixing it. Really? Right. I mean, at your age, I mean, you can't not fix it. I mean, nothing's going to reattach it um, except for surgery. I mean, that's not even a question in someone like you. I mean, if you were 80, then yeah, leave it alone, right? High level, because of the, it's retracted pretty far, I almost, I almost would recommend you see like a shoulder specialist, you know, someone that just does shoulders. If you were my brother, if you might, I'd get you to a guy that does, that's all they do. It's not a big deal. I mean, I do them, I do them. But, you know, in this situation, with, with the way the MRI looks and everything, I think you're probably better off with Dr. Mile or Dr. Kane. You know, just get the dang thing fixed and yeah. be done with it. It's not even a question of whether you should do it or not. Right. It's just, just do it. Well, that's it's just a question called. of when. That's and the sooner called. the better because, you know, you're going to probably have... Yeah, I appreciate you. Uh, so you're on the no problem. Here. So how'd you injure this? Um, I raised BMX professionally okay. and I was just wrecked in training. Gotcha. How long did this happen? November 22nd. So, you got a pretty significant rotator cuff tear. Traumatic. It, when the rotator cuff tears, it doesn't heal itself. Um, it's an interesting tear pattern in that it's kind of partially torn off the tendon off the bone here, and then it's torn at the junction of the muscle and the tendon here. I would definitely recommend repair. You know, someone young and active like yourself, you're not going to get back full strength probably without repair. Um, your the recovery for repair unfortunately is slow because the rotator cuff tendon heals slowly it doesn't have the best blood supply compared to other places in your body so
What, what move you say? Yeah. They said, because my infraspinatus is completely detached, it's never gonna be stable. It's not gonna feel right. It's four something a.m. just before five o'clock. We're heading to get this surgery done. Whew. Let's do this. Honey, you just gonna smell that butt in the morning? <laughs> okay. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get your paperwork to the. Oh, shit. <laughs> Taking a video of him. What's up, motherfuckers? How you feeling? Feel like I got hit by a truck, big Tommy by a rope, and then dragged me from here across the country. But I feel good. I feel like I've been chewing on metal all night. On metal? Yeah, I got the funkiest little fucking taste. Oh, good? Mm hmm. <laughs> Have you gone on? You're really getting yeah, the rings on. I, I never used to convert them so that I never. I'm back, baby. Put me on the track, bro. We riding this weekend? Yep. No. No. This is a change. Yep. Mm -hmm. And you do one kind of bark before they go. Yeah. Then I go through the whole thing before they go. Look, and they okay. gave me a ball to play with. Just finished my surgery. I'm pretty fucked up. Um, they gave me a lot of anesthesia. They put a nerve block in my arm. I had no feeling in my hand whatsoever. You could have put a lighter to it and lit it on fire and I wouldn't have felt it. So I started, you know, hitting it with my phone and see if it was all right. And I got a little feeling back now. That's new. So for about eight hours or so, I couldn't even feel that thing. It's crazy. I mean, I still can't really feel it. All I can give it is a little wiggle. But uh, I'm going to try to lay down. I'm going to try to chill. And I'm going to do my motherfucking peace out. <laughs>